creating a website is so easy. Just click on Add Website. Go to the host stinger. Ding, ding, ding. Choose which hosting plan you have. Click. It's thinking about it. I've got a, low, a slow connection, so forgive me. Here we go. Ah, uh, you can make AI choose it, but I choose pre-made templates. And then a whole world is opened up to you. You can choose any template you want. It has categories. I don't know after you select one that you can change it again, but let's say we're going to pick this one. For instance, we just click on the top, start building. It's just that easy. And remember, it automatically saves for you, or you can save whenever you like. Here we go. There's the save button. Ta-da! And then just click on a section. And then just click on a section. Let's say I want to change how that is. I can edit the header. Where you can change your logo, you can change style options, or if you go into each section, you can edit the sections. So let's say I want to replace that image. I can pick any of these they have or upload my own images. And then when it loads, wait for the select button and click on select. And voila! There's some boobies. And you can make so many changes so simply. You don't need to know code. You can click on a section, change the text, change the layout. Let's say, for instance, I want to change this background color here. Click change, change color, and then just slide around to what you like. Then put a little dot in the color section. You can make it as light or as dark as you want, and you can see in real time what color it's changing it to. We're going to go with pink. kind of goes with the theme. And there you go. And you can change a section by just clicking this, add a section. Choose whatever kind of section you want here. They have a variety. You can even do a blank one. I think we're going to try... Let's try Slideshow. I haven't tried that one yet. That sounds interesting. So here, it has, of course, the stock footage ones. Click on it. And go up here to edit. Boom. And here's their images, which you can delete, or you can upload your own. We're going to try to see if it'll let us upload multiple pictures at once. All right, go to upload the images. And it did. Now, for slide one, we'll pick this one. Let him finish loading. Okay, we'll select that. Select that one. getting rid of those that we don't want. We're going to add the images. Now that they're finally loaded on, we're going to select that one. Then click to add another image and we can just one by one add whatever images we want, as many as we want. I'll just add a few here or there to give you an idea. And keep in mind, these images are kind of bad because they were taken forever ago when our phone cameras were not as good as they are today. These are just various images from shows that we've done. And it is just this easy to upload and select your pictures. And then boom, you got a slideshow. And close out of this and there's our slideshow. And you might think, oh, this is a little too small. Boom, grab it and stretch it out and you can make it bigger. 
taking it and dragging it. Also, if you want to make it smaller, just do the opposite. You can also make the images smaller. Alrighty. Get an idea of what the what it looks like. It's so neat. Again, wish my images were better. We can go, like say we want to go up and we can click to save. And then I can even edit the header. Like I don't like that logo, so I can go on here. I don't like that. So I'm going to click edit header, go to logo, upload an image or select an image. Then like say I, I want to upload this. Hold on. Uploading the image. Ta-da. Wait for the magic select button to show up. And when it does, doom, select. And, oh, this little box here, this gives you an idea of how much you have left to do to, com to complete. It gives you section options like optimizing the website or, you know, other checklist items. It shows what you need left to finish your website. And again, all the different options you can use to add. You can add text. You can add a button. You can do a gallery. I love down here at the bottom, embed. So you can embed like videos and stuff. It's really great. But let's go, let's add a social icons. All right. So I can click on the wheel. If I want to delete some, I'm going to click to edit. Like, I don't want this one. I'm going to click on the little wheel and just click delete. And then from here, you're going to see which ones you want to have left. We'll just say we're just going to do the, the Facebook, for instance. Click on there to finish what the link information would be. And then click the check mark and it saves it for you. And you can just go on one by one to complete. We, we'll do an animation like this will boom. There's some, I think the animations are fun. So you can animate it. You can make it bigger. You can change the color. We'll go over here and change the color a little bit. And ta-da. I tell you, it's so easy. And when you're done, don't forget to click on go live when you first start building it. And then when anytime you make changes, go to the uh, be just where the go live button was. You'll have to click to update the website. It's just that easy. I wish I would have known about Hostinger years ago. I wish I did. Because I've never been very happy with the provider I had for hosting. But I didn't want to change because it seemed like some of their, the platforms I looked at were so complicated. Even though they were just drop like this one is, it just seemed like it was much more difficult. And more expensive. When I was looking, each website would have cost me for hosting and web developer would have cost me 30 bucks a month. And some of those don't even include the email address serving, hosting, whatever you want to call it. So needless to say, I am so thrilled with this. And oh, I, I wish I would have known. I'm just dumb this way. I didn't know. I thought you had to have hosting for each individual website because that's how my old provider almost made it seem. Uh, I, I learned not to do that. But this one, I wish I would have known because I would have dropped that cheap money for having the whole four years. Like it's a hundred or so, but it's for four years. It would be the price of it would be what you would be paying for four or five months of just one website on one provider. So yeah, I've got a link below. So um, click on it. If you don't like these prices, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's got everything. There's nothing I've seen on here I don't like. And it's gotten great reviews. Been around since 2004. Check it out. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.